Good evening, my Duck Kids YouTube friends. John Bolton, one of the world's most foremost experts on politics, on global, all things global, says that the world, let me go ahead and get his quote directly, the world is ascending into chaos under Barack Hussein Obama. Not just America, Obama land, formerly America, the entire globe is ascending into chaos. There's a new world order, and Obama is the one behind this new world order. He's setting up everything. He is exporting everything in this country to the rest of the world. Obamacare is not going to only impact Obama land. It's going to impact the entire globe with all of, of, the, of the many things that are involved, including especially the RFID chip, which I believe is going to be the mark of the beast. It's all lining up, my friends. People are starting to wake up. Many are waking up and understanding that something is really bad with Obama. They still can't see the truth. They can't see that he is the Antichrist, the Bible refers to. And I've got all kinds of videos. I'm going to link up a bunch of, it's going to be Obama-rama today. I'm going to go ahead and link up all kinds of Obama videos that I've done with, with exclusive scriptural proof that proves without a doubt who this man really is. This man is setting the stage for his one world government, one world religion, one world economy, and his right-hand man, the false prophet, a.k.a. Pope Francis, is doing his part as well. He's lining up the one world religion. He's doing things that no other pope has ever done. My friends, it's time to wake up and smell the coffee. And don't come here and tell me that Obama's not the Antichrist or that Francis is not the false prophet. If you come tell me they're not, you show me someone else who matches all scripture in the Bible, like Obama does. If you can't show me someone else that matches every scripture like he does, just keep your mouth shut. Don't come and comment, because all I'm going to do is delete your comments and delete you, because I don't deal on conjecture. I don't deal on assumptions. I don't deal on personal opinions. My personal opinion, your personal opinion, is irrelevant. Only what I can prove in the Holy Bible, and I've proved who this man is. If you don't want to be left behind when this man takes full charge, see, the whole this is the whole thing. As obvious as it is right now, who he is, it's nothing compared to what he's going to be soon after the imminent rapture, when Satan possesses him and Pope Francis, and he becomes Satan incarnate, the unholy trinity. All hell is going to break loose literally on this earth. I'm going to link up that video as well. The first one will be the Tribulation Survival Guide that I always share. It's going to tell you how to make it to heaven on your last chance and what to expect from A to Z during the Tribulation and Great Tribulation. It'll be worth more than diamonds or gold or, or the most precious jewels after I'm raptured or dead, whatever happens first, before the Antichrist pulls down my YouTube channels and Facebook pages. But if you don't want to be left behind for seven years of hell on earth that makes today's wicked disease, evil falling apart, war-ridden, disease-ridden world seem like Disneyland, with a speed pass go to the front of the line, pray with me in a moment and, and be saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood. And if you're a backslider, I know you don't believe you're backsliding, but again, I've got the, I don't say things I can't back up. Everything that I tell you, I back up biblically, and I've got 250 scripture from the King James Version Bible. God's word, not yours or mine, but God's word, it proves. If you don't repent of your sins after you're saved, you won't step foot into heaven. I don't care how many times people lie to you and tell you otherwise. Are you willing to sacrifice, willing to take a chance on your eternity on someone else's word? I'm not. I use God's word, and I'll send you all that scripture and commentary. Message me, I'd be glad to send it to you. I've sent it everywhere. If you're one of those two groups, unsaved, or need to repent, let's do it now before your time runs out. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father to make a place for all your children forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. When you get saved, Get you a King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. It'll feed your spirit and soul while you feed your body with food and water every day. Pray to Jesus daily. He loves you. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk with you every day. Get water baptized by being dunked under water like Jesus was. If you're a sprinkle baptized, do it over again, my friend. It doesn't count. Pray to be sanctified. Fill the Holy Spirit from head to toe by living for Christ by praying by reading the Bible every day. Take that King James Version Bible to church when the preacher speaks. Make sure it matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find somewhere else to worship. And lastly, repent. Repent, repent. Every time you sin after you're saved, if you want to go to heaven, repent. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn or deserve it. When I prayed for it, the Lord gave it to me. If you ask me to, 
I pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life, knowing that God will perform that miracle if it's in His holy will. And if He does, it's all because of Him, my friends. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in His kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Watch all these videos I'm linking up on the Antichrist. Share them everywhere you possibly can. I'm not going to rehash it all because there's too much to go into. I'm not going to waste your time. Watch the videos and share them. Above all, witness and pray every day as much as you can. Our time is short, my friends. I love you. May God bless you. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Whenever the Lord lays up in my heart, I'm not raptured or dead first. Look up, my friends. If you're truly ready, our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.